I'm Richard Roper, and coming right up, Oscar winners Ben Affleck, Tommy Lee Jones, and Chris Cooper are corporate hot shots caught in the economic crunch in the company men. My review right now. Company Men is a movie of its time with a keen insight into the economic realities of the recession and how all those complex Wall Street stories translate to a very human level. Come on, no you sitting around feeling sorry for ourselves. I will win. Why? Because I have faith, courage, enthusiasm. Good. We start with a tour of the lifestyles of various players for the GTX Corporation, from Ben Affleck's rising star, through Chris Cooper as a mid-level executive, to Tommy Lee Jones, who's a vice president and the best friend of the head honcho, played by the invaluable Craig T. Nelson. They all seemingly have it made, but the floodwaters of the recession are about to come crashing through. The company's consolidating divisions. Difficult decisions had to be made in areas where redundancy surfaced. You're firing me? Affleck's Bobby is the first to go, but he doesn't seem too concerned as he wheels around in his Porsche and hits the links. Bobby's sure he's going to get a job in days, much to the amusement of his carpenter brother-in-law, played to great effect by Kevin Costner. You know, things get tough. You can always use some extra help this winter. Easy work, huh, Bobby? Pretty much like moving cost reports from the inbox to the outbox. I hate you, brother. The company man wisely addresses the class warfare issues that otherwise would have audiences wondering why they should care about these six and seven figure elitists as they get ash canned. Writer director John Wells, a veteran of TV's ER, is making his feature debut here, and he's crafted a sharp, funny, warm script that peels back the curtains on everyone's lives, sometimes to startling effect. Everyone here is excellent, including Rosemarie DeWitt, who takes the obligatory supportive wife role and does something special with it. And a December filled with small gems and big time Oscar contenders, here's hoping that the company men doesn't get lost in the shuffle. It's one of the best movies of the year. I give it an A. I'm Richard Roper, and you can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels Channel, TV about movies.